Ashua Jubala Tinumbu is struggling to become president of Nigeria. There's nothing wrong with that. But we do not, because of him, collapse our struggle for the Yoruba nation. Just as we cannot ask him to collapse his own campaign for the Yoruba nation. So we have here two parallel lines in the same country, among the same people. What we who are, because this is an intellectually very strong movement, what we who are handling the Yoruba self-determination struggle must do is to be, as I said, thoughtful, competent, and uh, proper in the way we handle matters. We don't believe we will be in Nigeria in 2023. And by the grace of, of God, we, we are not going to be in Nigeria in 2023. So uh, we don't hurt the, our brother who wants to be president of Nigeria, and he must not try to hurt us. We won't try to hurt him. We have developed very sophisticated ways of getting messages to our youth across, across the Yoruba land. If they are going on a rally, they have a blueprint in their mind. If the police say, don't stand where you are standing, don't do your rally there, leave the place. The police are not our enemies. There are young men like us who are looking for jobs and who got the job of policemen. They have nothing against us and we have nothing against them. So don't ever fight the police. And you will never find Yoruba boys fighting the police or the military. We have educated our young people that much. So the same thing with our, our brethren who want to become one thing or other through election in Nigeria in 2023. The boys who want Yoruba self-determination movement will never hurt the campaign of this, our kinsmen. So what we are asking for is that the campaigns of these, our kinsmen, must not attempt to hold the Yoruba self-determination struggle. The two streams must flow freely. The two streams must flow, flow freely and leave it to our people to decide. That's all.